Hello, hey, you. you to get us active. How are you doing? Welcome to our live chat. This is two great girlfriends talking about beauty care, skincare, and outdoor exercise. I'm Joanna Hall, the creator and founder of Walk Active, and I'm joined by my yummy, yummy friend. Da, da, da. Hi, how are you? So I'm now I'm right. Who are, how are you? I was <laughs> yes. who are you? Who are you today? Thank you, Joe. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen you so long during lockdown. Um, yes, so I, I am a beauty brand strategist and I work with founders of brands to develop their business, their strategy, sometimes from scratch, sometimes great products. Um, I'm not a facialist, I'm not a chemist, um, but I, what I really, or an esthetician, but I really love product and what they can do for you and how they can make you feel. So, um, and we were just saying how we're connected we are over being kind of opposite strengths <laughs> with <laughs> exercise, meditation. I love fun. exercise. You hate exercise. I like true. makeup, but I'm not. I'm not in love with it like you are. Yes, I know. Yeah, I'm trying to get in love with exercise. I am. Anyway, no, I'm trying to get you to love it. It's been good. I just want to say hello to a couple of few people that come in. So good. Hello. Good afternoon, Angela. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Roz. Come on in. Make yourself at home. And also, actually, I've got something a little surprise for you because have you had a busy week? It's yeah. Crazy. I've got, I think people are starting to come back to work or starting to I think, think so. about the future yeah. because I've I've had a lot of um, people contact me this week when it felt like, oh, my God, is anything ever going to change? So hopefully that's happening for everybody. But yes, I also went on the motorbike all the way to Bristol yesterday. I know. And why did you do that, darling? Because it was my birthday. And I was seeing, I don't know, is anybody else separated from, well, I mean, of course, so many people are separated from family. But my son, I keep saying, is probably the only student, him and his flatmates, who decided not to come home. So he stayed in Bristol. <laughs> And I was desperate to see him. So that was my birthday treat, going up and having a picnic. And, and it was just so nice. It was so nice. Such a lovely day. Yeah, lovely. Well, listen, honey, I've got a little surprise for you. Happy, happy Ooh. birthday for yesterday. And there's meant to be a little <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah, no, no, there's meant, to be a little, there's meant to be a little surprise coming to you. There you go. Brilliant. Right on cue. Happy birthday, darling. Happy that birthday. so clever. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Thank you. Joe. I have friends in powerful places. Happy birthday, darling. Healing. Sorry, I couldn't be with you. Here's to, oh, here's to you, my darling. Here's happy, happy year. And here's to everybody who's with us. Thank you very much. So we've joined again also by Christina. Hello, Ross. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Karen. How are you doing? So Karen says, I wear SPF under my Trini BBS. Now, we've got lots of questions about that. So yeah, we shall we just say we've got a little bit of agenda, haven't we, about what we're going to talk about? Because there's lots of really good questions. And we want to make sure that we make this as user-friendly as possible. So today's theme is barely there makeup isn't it? And we're going to talk about a variety of things and then bring it kind of full circle about how it's going to fit with your walk active lifestyle as well. So that I'm happy as well. Does that sound exactly. okay? Exactly. And for the questions on BFF, and I know Debbie, you sent some last time as well. We're going to actually talk about that specifically. So if we go through it, we'll come to that. And I think we've got a few answers for you and also who else was it? Karen as well. So um, we'll answer the BFF question. Hello, um, June. June's just arrived as well. Right, my darling. Okay, so how's your week been? Have you had? You went down to Bristol, so that was all I good. Bristol, I slapped on my sun care and my antioxidant serum underneath that, um, and yeah, that was brilliant. But um, I also went to science school. I oh, did. okay. The girl, the girl who took typing instead of physics, she went to science school. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, from, with Helio Sun Care because we mentioned them before. And then ironically, we your did. friend um, also got in touch with you and we started to learn a lot more about the range. So we, we did. really got to talk to that because it's fascinating. You got some to try. What do you think of it so far, Joe? Have you had a little play? I actually, well, actually, it's quite interesting because lots of the questions that I get uh, in terms of walk active, because I'm outdoors a lot of the time, actually, delivering the programme. But also what's been quite interesting now that we're in lockdown, and actually before we went lockdown at the beginning of this year, I developed um, the Walk Active Get Started programme to really be able to bring it to more people in different parts of the world. And, and that's just been so rewarding, really, really, really rewarding. So the variety of questions are about, you know, skincare. How do I look after my skincare in all these different situations? And specifically, um, SPF. So one of the things that they sent me that I particularly liked was this one. And it's a gel-free, oil-free, tinted uh, tinted moisturizer, actually. I'm just going to put a little bit on. 
Um, and I've actually been wearing it quite a bit because I've been doing quite a bit of gardening. So I do feel like I've picked up a bit of colour. So it has allowed me to have some colour as well. So I'm happy about that. Yeah. But I've just put it on my hand. And I really like the feel of it. But from a, from a you know, being outside and being physically active, which is where my passion is, um, it allows your skin to sort of breathe. And also you're not going to perspire and it drops down into your eyes and you get that horrible stingy, stingy stuff. So I was really, I really like that. And the other thing that they sent me, which was really lovely, and I was really interested to try, are the capsules the vitamin C and vitamin E antioxidant capsules as well. You see, I knew you'd like that glass little No, fizz. my third sip. I, I knew really that would go down very well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those capsules are really interesting as well. And I think the thing about them, and I've got a little summary, I don't know if Dan can slip that on, but I think that um, they are award-winning. Um, they are created out of Kantara Labs, which is recognized in the world of dermatology. Um, they've won awards from all kinds of beauty editors that are really well respected. And the thing that I absolutely loved about it is that they really consider the anti-aging. And we know SPF is um, really there to protect us, particularly, obviously, it's got to be broad spectrum, it's got to be UVA, it's got to be UVB, um, and it has got to, um, you know, S the sun is the most aging thing is what I'm trying to get out. Um, but um, it's it doesn't just talk about protection, it talks about all of the other things that go into uh -huh. um, the ingredients to really help. So they consider it an anti-aging sun care professional range um, rather than for the beach, although there are products in there for the beach, if we ever get to the beach. <laughs> if we, exactly. So so I like that concept because for me, walk out yeah. is, and I want to fundamentally challenge, I think we should fundamentally challenge the way I think about way we think about exercise because for so often people think about I'm doing my exercise I'm not doing my exercise or I'm going to the gym or I'm not going to the gym and I really think we need to broaden it up and really challenge the way we think about it so that it becomes part of your lifestyle because if you did the simple maths if you did maybe 30 minutes three times a week and then you work out all the other hours that you have in your day and then multiply by seven you know we expect an awful lot from that amount of time whereas we can integrate it into our lives it becomes so much more powerful and effective so the idea that you can actually translate this across different aspects of your lifestyle I quite like that idea so that was good about it and show the range and how it works in different lifestyles and different scenarios yeah. because it's it's finding the right one for you not just the SPF factor, but the formula, because some of you again said, what should I wear when it sweat gets in my eyes? What's the kind of different? So I think we can answer some of that as well. Um, but we're here to talk about barely there, barely there makeup. And obviously barely there makeup really comes together with great skincare, first of all. So we're not going to go into that because we've done that already, but we have got a little slide that just reiterates the order because we had a number of different questions last time. Um, and just kind of going back into that, order of application we've got a little slide on that um, but it is and must do's must do's there are in white so must do is cleanse we never must do of course and cleansing any debris cleansing any night um, ingredients and just allowing your day ingredients to work better so cleanse um, and I bought some of the CeraVe actually so that's really great in the morning CeraVe hydrating cleanser really really affordable we had it on the notes last time um, tone because it will um, balance your skin but it will really help your ingredients work better because they work better on hydrated skin and you've just hydrated as well as removed any cleansing debris um, eyes I would put them on the must do um, from even from your 20s um, but then serum um, with your antioxidants so that's what we talked about vitamin C um, moisturizer but you could double up your moisturizer into your sun care but if you do Put your moisturiser and then your sun care over the top. Okay. Okay. Um, and then today, because we're going to talk barely there, we're going to talk. Do I don't I need a primer? Um, what do they do for me? Am I wasting my time? Can they do something for me? And then we're going to talk makeup. And the reason why I look quite so bare today, because I am bare as well as very hot. It's so hot. <laughs> I think um, it's very hot. <laughs> so hot. I don't know how I'm going to put anything else on though because I'm so hot. <laughs> Um, is to um, talk about a little bit of application of barely there when you don't want that full face of makeup and you just really want to enhance the best you dependent upon whether you're going out and doing walk active you know for you know a great big long walk or whether you know you're walking it to work or any of those things sure. and therefore you need to look a little bit more made up when you get there when we do all go back so we're going to talk about all then, of that 
And then also what we thought we'd do is actually bring it full circle. So actually what would be your must haves if you had different types of bags and different scenarios? So whether you're actually just doing a short work or cactus session outside or whether you're then actually doing a longer session and you're doing more of a recreational walk, maybe with your family. And then obviously, as you say, coming full circle, I'm going to be maybe commuting to work because obviously the government is encouraging us to be much more involved in active travel and cycling and walking. So I think it's really going to... Um, I'm, I'm quite excited in some respects about the opportunities it, and challenges, obviously, it provides for us to rethink maybe um, our investment in our own wellness. And I think for a long time, I believe we need to challenge the way that urban um, planning's been put together and how cities are being put together. So whilst it has lots of sort of upset with COVID, COVID-19 situation, possibly some good could be that we actually rethink the environment that we live in and creating resources close to us and, and on our footfall. And that can only be good for our well-being in that sense as well. So that's quite exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And, I, you know, and then really, what can you do to protect yourself or what can you do to look at your best and, you know, and it be appropriate if you're going to be out there and getting more physical. Um, yeah. And also, as the traffic starts up, I don't know about you, but I was really so interested on the bike yesterday, how much traffic there was. It almost felt like normal. And I got we got yeah. stuck in the traffic jam on the way back. So, you know, that just adds to pollution and how you need to protect yourself. So um, no fear mongering, but just get in our ducks in a row to make sure you know. I'm going to click as if I was going to change my slide. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's a cue. Yeah, <laughs> no, what to put on. Because right. I think, you know, when I spoke to Rebecca from HelioCare, she was talking about all weather sunscreen um, and why you need to wear sunscreen at all times, even if it's cloudy, and just really just how much of that gets through to our skin. So these were some of the statistics that she talked about, um, that um, the 95% of UV rays, and remember UVB is burn, UVA is aging, but 95% aging and they reach deeper into your skin um they um all visible light um really um uh, promotes free radicals which can destroy our cells and infrared light can reach the dermis and there's a lot of conversation at the moment about blue light being aging as well um you know i'm not the expert on that but you can google it and you can see so many things talked about blue light because we're on our phone so much we're on our laptop top so much um, and, you know, Joe and I had this conversation earlier to say, look, even if it's, you know, not aging us, and it most likely is, um, actually stress, you know, the stress, yeah. even if it's locked into position, that stress on your body <laughs> is impactful yeah. and stress yeah. is on your skin, whatever kind of stress it is, as we go back into working into new environments, that also impacts our and I think eyes as well, with with, um, with everything that's happening now, looking at screens, I've been noticing myself, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, that your eyes get really tired. So if you're watching this, what do you think? Your eyes get tired? My eyes are really, really tired. And this is a little tip that um, I've used, and it, it does actually work really well, because when you're looking at screens the whole time, you feel like your, your eyes are sort of literally boring into this light the whole time so when you are lying in bed at night what's really nice to do is just to let the eyes obviously close and just cast your eye line down towards your belly button so it allows your eyes to almost soften and feel like they come away from your eyelids so you can just be lying like this but right you just sort of turn your gaze as if you were looking towards your belly button and it softens it softens the eyes it's just a really nice way to kind of relax the eyes rather than us you know looking at our screens checking emails messages all the ways that we communicate now and 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 which is a, a joyful thing in many things but it's nice to have that quiet time so just having that sort of belly button gaze when the eyeballs are shut maybe lying in bed at night or if you do if you meditate whatever if that works for you that's a really nice way to just to relax the eyes yeah. and your sun cream yeah no that's that's great great to think about actually it's a mixture of everything it's the physical with the topical with what you yeah enjoy. it's all the um, so, you know, I just thought this was really interesting because there's a lot of conversations about blue light. 
And as we talk through the presentation, what was really exciting for any of you looking to look into sun care and wanting to go to an expert, is if you go on their site, Joe has secured for you a promo code, which is Helio39, and that delivers you a 20% discount. So we'll come back to that a little bit. But that's pretty good. Yeah. That's really nice. um, just a quick question here from Anne. Hi, Anne. So she's got very dry, tired eyes very dry tired eyes um and oops yep seen that so that's fine so maybe to so and try maybe that little thing just to sort of make them feel less tired and a bit more sort of vital but i think you're going to talk a little bit about eye creams as well as, as well importance we've addressed yeah, that actually in the previous chat yeah eye cream around the eyes but i think you're your exercise there is a really good option and I know just how you feel. Was it Anne? Because yeah. I get really and I think it is staring too long at the screen. I get really yeah. dry eyes over the last few years have got worse maybe reasons, but I'm sure just staring fixedly at something can yeah. work. Um, but look, I'm not an expert on that. Well the eyes have to work differently before I go to bed. Yeah, well, you're looking at a uni at one plane, as opposed to when you're having actual physical conversations, you're either having to adjust to the different dimensions the whole time, so the muscles work in a different way, so you've got fatigue, because the muscles are just, you know, working constantly in that one fixed spot, so that's why they do feel tired. So just to be able to relax them and do that gaze. Anyway, try that tonight. I'm interested to see how people get on, so I hope that helps you out anyway. That's a great, that's a great okay. tip. That's a great so... In understanding of all of that and looking at Helio Care, what's special about it, and this is what actually got me excited about the range, is that um, it has a very special ingredient that I hadn't heard of before and is um, presumably it's trademarked to them. And it's called um, Fern Block. And it's a bit of a magic ingredient, got a little slide coming up on it. Um, but um, that was discovered by Dr. Thomas Fitzpatrick, and he is known it's a great title, um, but as the father of modern academic dermatology. So, you know, absolutely key. In he's the main man. <laughs> he's the main man, we said. He's the daddy. He's the daddy. Dad. He's the daddy. <laughs> I'm sure he's much more serious than that. Um, but clearly hugely expert. And what he really un understood and started to experiment with was the um, – way that ferns were able to naturally protect themselves against UV light. So um, he was also one of the first people to really investigate the effects of sunlight on the skin um, and looked at the scale of shade and skin type to really understand the impact of that across the entire spectrum of skin, which is really interesting for light to darker skins because everybody has an issue from, or a potential issue from sunlight or too much sunlight and overexposure. Um, so that's why Fern Block is really, really interesting um, because A, it comes from such expertise, B, it's their hero ingredient, and it protects, it protects your fibroblasts, which are key to um, really protecting your collagen. Your collagen is your bounce in your skin. It's the elasticity. Um, and the Langerhans cells, um, which protect your DNA. So it really is that anti-aging ingredient that is countering the UVA damage um, that can come from sunlight. So um, I think something really different. It's also got in there powerful antioxidants. It's got vitamin C. We all love that. It's got green tea, another mm -hmm. antioxidant, um, and vitamin E as well, which protects the lipids. And their, their, I mean, their statistics say it reduces cell damage by up to 30%. So that's, you know, that's some that's of their studies. Impressive. All on their website yeah. and quite an interesting one. Um, so just one of the things that Joe was talking about at the start, you know, and this is really sorry, I'm so hot, guys. Do I look hot? I feel hot. No, um, no, we hot. <laughs> oh, we, just keep, we keep missing slightly, we're losing your sound site. That's not your fault. I think it's just a slight technical um issue which we're trying to address. So thank you so much for bringing that to our attention, everybody. We're we're trying to work with it. So stay with us. Love my so, you, know, you, you you're looking great and you're sounding fabulous. 98% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Um, so um, I think, you know, what we're also looking at and what we're trying to, what we wanted to show you was the range because yes. I think one of the most difficult things is, okay, here we go. We've got an expert range of product. Which one do I want? Which one's for me? And they've really divided that down. And the easy thing is SPFs are all over 50. 
Now, I, I talked to Rebecca about that because, um, uh, you know, some of the studies will show that the difference between SPF 30 and SPF 50 is only about one and a half percent more protection. But naturally, we all put on too little, which is coming back to some of the questions on BFF as well, actually. But we tend to put on too little. And her measure was to put on a finger. So a finger of, excuse me, giving you the finger joke, but it is a finger <laughs> of, Dang, of I don't mean, So what do you mean? So, so literally, I, if you, your measure could be along your finger, yeah. And that's a measure of how much you should put on your face. And then another way somebody said it to me is 50p for your wow. face and 10 pence for your neck. So it's, it's much more than we perhaps think yeah. we would use. Um, so, um, and that's why often they say go for a higher SPF. You know, but really, that's it's interesting. That's so that's just going to do that now. Is that going to convey? Oh, so I can't even do it. That's going to go everywhere. I'm not even going to do it because it's going to spill everywhere. That's massive. That's massive. Well, I mean, I, but it's a lot more than we think. That's, that's yeah, yeah. Massive. So that's that's so, very interesting. That's why nice. And actually. so that's why they go with a higher one as well to give you that kind of little extra. Every little bit of extra um, help counts. And if we, I don't know if we can get on the slides, but I'll pick up some of the products because you talked about the oil-free gel, Joe. Yeah, um, that's really nice. You know, the oil filled gel, that is if you've got normal, oops, that now, normal to dry skin, um, uh, that's a lovely gel. It's a light cream, uh, creaminess really, um, and for normal to dry skin. Um, they have a, a fluid as well, so it's matte as well. Did you find that, Joe, when you put that mm. on? So you've got and i quite like that because when you're outside and you get hot you tend to get a bit shiny anyway so i like the fact that it didn't make it look more shiny that's what i thought that's quite nice yeah so it does and it it's it feels comfortable though so although it's matte it feels quite comfortable so it'll give you some yeah. extra coverage and boost if you want the one with color if you want the tinted one what i really like what i felt was right for me because i'd rather maybe put my color on in a different way was the fluid cream which is this one here. And that one is very lightweight um, and it's for normal to dry. So the gel, normal to oily in the gel, normal to dry in the lightweight fluid cream. Um, so both of them, you can see, you know, you've got, it's called the Heliocare 360. It's both SPF 50 plus. So you're gonna get your protection. Um, but only and also just, what was quite nice about this one is it comes in three different shades. So it comes in a pearl and it comes in a beige and it comes in a bronze. So I'm actually wearing a bronze because I actually was doing a bit of gardening at the weekend. So I've got quite a bit. So I was wearing it for that. So this is a this is a bronze, but it's not it's it's I liked it. It wasn't too much. And there's not that much difference between the bronze and the beige, but the pearl is would be your all winter colour. I would if you're lovely to wear. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, this one. The mineral tolerance fluid. This one is for all of you. And if <laughs> this one is for all of you that say it's sensitive. Your skin is either sensitive, it gets irritated. Um, so this is a great one for sensitive skins. It's actually great for darker skin tone as well. Um, and for um men too. Just because it's really nice and lightweight and probably a better so, this so would that be good if you've got rosacea? Because we had quite a yes. few queries. I know quite, quite a few of our walk active clients have got rosacea skins yes. and asking about that. Yes, perfect. Um, skin with uh, skin that gets irritable because if you've got rosacea, it's a bit of a, a breakdown of your skin barrier um, and that leaves you more open to getting irritation. So this one is very soothing as well. Okay. Um, so you've got some really great options on there. Um, but then what I also loved was the fact that we can put it on. We're supposed to put it on every two to four hours. So this is where we're moving into makeup, by the way, guys, if, in case you think we never start on makeup. Um, but they have a compact. I can get it open with hot hands. There we go. So they have a compact here. Um, nice little mirror. Um, keeps it nice and hygienically fresh. And can you That's see nice. that? Yeah. So it's got a little sponge on there going the wrong way no that's good <laughs> oh, there we go no, I can see that. On there, so that is just a dab so you're going to dab that and you can buff that over your makeup or top up your coverage in the day if maybe you're walking to work you got yourself sorted you go into work you're coming out at lunchtime um or 
it's not really for wear by itself, but if you had a quick early morning walk, then that would be better than nothing at all for just a really quick application. And then you get home, you get in the shower. Okay. So all Got of that. It. And then finally for, I don't know if I've got that one here, but finally for the beach. So all of these are anti-aging. Yes, you can wear them anytime. Yes, you could wear them for the beach. But if you wanted to, you know, spray your body, then they've got an invisible spray and it's really, um, non-oily which is nice um, they can go, um, and it's water resistant you don't get waterproof really it's going to wash off but water resistant yeah. um, i haven't used that one yet so so a cool. great range that you can try out and you can find the right one if your skin's normal to dry do you know what's really interesting as well joe i don't know if you did it but they had a um which one for me and they give you a, you do a little questionnaire um and it will come up that's on the website, website isn't it yeah, it enables you to buy the confidence. So all of that, and of course, as Joe said, um, some of the um, of the uh, capsules. Now they are extra protection. They're not instead of topical. But if you are outside all of the time, so that's why Joe, these would probably yeah. be you spend such a lot of time outdoors. If you're a gardener, if you go for walks a lot, if you work outdoors or if you've got skin sensitivity, you know, these are going to just boost your immunity. That yeah, no, so I'm really interested. I'm really interested to sort of see about those. So we just really like the, I like the selection that they had. And obviously, so there's lots more information, isn't there, at the HelioCare website. And then with special code, which I think was going to come up in a minute, so you get an extra 20% on, in addition to all other offers that they've got. So there we go, it's going on the bottom of the, uh, the screen there. So haliocare.co.uk and the promo code is helio39. So that gives you an additional 20% discount on any other discount. I think that is just for this bank holiday weekend. So it's normally it 10, isn't it? It's an extra 10 that you've got, plus they've got some great bundles. So if you're thinking about the family and a different product for different members of your family and you buy that in a bundle, you've already got a discount and then you get your other discount on top. So. I think what's quite interesting, so of the tinted ones, so I, I was wearing the bronze and our daughter, would, she wore the beige. She did try the pearl because at first she thought, oh, the pearl will be good, but it was actually too pale for her. So then she wore the braise, beige and she looked lovely, really, really lovely with it. It was it was. It was great, really nice. Didn't look kind of caked on, just natural. And she she looked yeah. fab, she felt she looked good and she felt good, so that's good. Yeah. So there you go. Um there you see it. all the different kinds of offers that they have, and they also give you 10% off your first order. So I don't know how that will all work together, but there's just so much um on there that is great. And you can also see some of their other ranges as well. So from their um from their labs in Spain really a very great range and a lovely discovery so we're going to be using that so no, I'm about that. Yeah. if you try any of the if any of you do try any of the products it'd just be really great to know what you think they do have a, a different kind of smell quite a signature smell to them and that may even come from the firm block but that firm block ingredient i haven't heard of that in oh, any other sun care range so really interesting to protect you so should we get on to some makeup yes i need to, i'm looking at myself thinking god girl you need some color <laughs> Because you haven't been gardening. You haven't been doing your walk active, you see. Now I know. I would have been doing my walk active, but I was prepping for this all day. And I've, you know, had a few other meetings, so that's my excuse. But I'll be okay. going for a very long walk tomorrow in between cooking 50 meals for the NHS as well. I was just like, <laughs> what's going on? Anyway, we wanted to talk um, about barely their makeup because no makeup makeup is a really big trend. But particularly if you, we're all going to get more active, you know, you're on Joe's great programs, you're fitting it in either as something you can just focus on and chill out to or you're fitting it in because, um, you know, you're on your way to work or dropping the children off at school or any of that. So um, belly their makeup is actually it's just a, it's just a, it's just a huge trend um, that we're moving towards. Um, and you could just use the Helio Care and you could say, that's it. I've got a little bit of color with that gel tint. Or you could think, you know what? I just need a little bit more and I'm happy to do that. And I want that much more. So I was going to talk to you first about primers, because there's often questions about primers. What are they for? Yeah. <laughs> you know, how do I use them? You know, and really with a primer, we've got a little slide on that and some products to talk to you about because they can smooth your skin. So if you're really thinking, I just want my, 
complexion to look the best it can be. Often a primer is a great go-to if you've got time and if you've got budget, um, because they'll smoothen, smooth your skin. They can even the tone, they can hydrate, they can extend the wear, they can tighten pores, which is a really great anti-aging um, little extra um, that um, a primer can give you, and they can make your skin look at its best. Um, so a few primers that I wanted to show you. So this little one. I went to list okay so space and K little you know you can see it here um, at space and K and the price for that is 28 pounds but it's a little tip moving it the wrong way um a little tip is that um uh, often in the buckets at space and k when space and k open um or even online they will do a small size for you so that you can trial that now i love this one and so do a lot of makeup artists so this one is for if you want glow if you want your skin to be really radiant and glowy this is absolutely gorgeous as a backlit primer and it's got a little it's got a little pearlescent in it but it's also oops don't waste any gorgeously uh, i cannot get this camera right <laughs> gorgeously hydrated okay yeah you can see a little bit of glimmer okay a bit there so love that and i've i haven't got that one on because it's too hot so i'd look too glowy um but if you think your skin just needs a little bit of oomph then it's a wonderful one under any product um what i did have on it's still there and look how much I love this little sample that I got from Pat McGrath. Just before oh, wow, that's... <laughs> um, yeah, that is gone. I didn't get as much as I, I was trying to get the girl. So, do you think you do a little bit more? Um, because it's so that gives you an even tone. That one's giving you an even yeah, tone. Yeah, you know what it gives you? A, it's even in tone, but it's got silica. It's almost like it gives you a real velvety, blurring veil. It's really lovely for that, but it is an investment by it's £52. So it might be your special occasion one, or you just love the look and you're going to invest in yourself. No wonder you made that sample last, baby. Oh, well, I didn't love, hmm, yeah, I know. I, I did actually go in to go by it and I thought, no, well, you're just going too crazy. If you can see the product around me now, calm down. <laughs> um, and look, this product, again, it's a little sample that I got. Um, there we go. Um, it's Cover FX. Now, Cover FX is a really amazing complexion range, really to kind of perfect your skin. Love this one. It's the water cloud one. And I particularly love this one because it's protection. It's got antioxidant protection in there. Um, and it has. they have a whole range. So they have them for mattifying, for dewy skin, or for firming. So it's finding the one that's right for you. What's your skin need? How, what do you want your skin finish to look like at its best? So I've got the last of the Pat McGrath on at the moment, but really it's been too hot. So <laughs> I'm not sure where we've gone with that. So um, you've got moisturizer, SPF, and your primer. Yeah. And that's um, where you are now. That's where I am now. The little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so complexion coverage, because we all want, she says we all, some of us want to have that little bit of extra color and coverage combined so and it's and, but it's barely there so you don't want it to look like you've got makeup on you, you really want it to look very very natural so yeah. foundation you can get lightweight foundations but foundation may be that next step to a more towards a more sophisticated finish now one of the first on the market was laura mercier um, uh, Laura Mercier is a tinted moisturiser and on the next slide we've kind of got a little bit of the difference between a tinted moisturiser, a CC, a BB, <laughs> you know, or a BFF, which is kind of a new category of its own. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. So we're just going to bring up that slide on the next one on the foundations. Yeah. So look, the tinted moisturiser from um, uh, Laura Mercier. It really was one of the first of its kind. It's oil free, so it won't feel tacky on your skin. It does give you more coverage. And I, I don't know if I dare put any of this off at, on, actually. I might try. Go um, on, do it, do it, do it. Just my face is so hot, so excuse me. Just put a little bit on. Um, so I know just to, just to say that the, some of the uh, sound is dipping in and out, but will this with the slides and obviously this is going to go on YouTube as well. So we'll have some notes afterwards so you can actually uh, see all the comments that we're making, all the products as well. So it's easy for you to see. OK, there you go. So which one? That's the Laura Mercier you're putting on. This is the Laura Mercier. 
My skin's almost too... When, when you get really hot, you just have to go and sit under a fan. I'm sure many of you will know exactly what I mean. Um, and I'm just going to just tap a little bit with a beauty blender. I'm sorry some of you use these. I, often I use fingers, but it's just really because I'm hot. I'm But the and how long are you actually, so you're just tapping that, that just tapping it? Yeah, I'm just tapping and it. Is that much better than fingers? Um, do you know what, fingers, I'm just, because I'm so hot today, I'm using this. What I love this for is when you're using concealer, because it pushes, it almost pushes your product into place. Yeah. So I think it's nice for that. And if you want a slightly more finished, um, if you want a slightly more finished look, really. But then, look, you know, this one has given me today a bit more coverage. You know, on a normal day, I wouldn't necessarily use use that, um, but it does look very, it does look very, very natural. So if you feel your skin tones a little bit uneven, yeah, it does. Looking good, babes. So you know, if you use this, or if you use um, the, for example, you like a pale makeup. Um, again, we've got a little bit of K-Beauty here with a Borean. This is a BB. Now, a BB cream is a blemish balm. Um, so this has got ginseng in it. Um, and ginseng is um, well-known, I'm saying this out loud, well-known for anti-aging, but it's hydrating. It's really hydrating. But it is if you like a lighter look. If you're tanned, it'll be too fair for you. It doesn't come in many colors. It does come in a dark shade as well. But it kind of gives you that... You know that Asian ethereal complexion, but it really does hydrate and smooth out your skin tone. I really do love this in the winter. Um, and then finally, not finally, actually we saved that to last, um, CC cream. We talked a little bit about this last time. Now CC is color correcting. So we've got the primer, which evens out skin tone. It's a great base. We have a tinted moisturizer, which gives you light coverage. The BB, a blenish balm, but it's lighter. The CC, will color correct, almost like camouflage your makeup. Now this is from It Cosmetics and Jamie Lima who created It Cosmetics, she's rosacea. So a lot of you have talked about that. She also has skin blemish um, and she has created the most amazing range in tandem with dermatologists. So created with plastic surgeons, it's a really clever range for perfecting skin. So that would be your good one if you had rosacea. That would be your yeah, go-to one. Go one, or if you wanted a little more coverage as well, but not quite a foundation. And it's an SPF 50 UVA UVB. Okay. So, you no, know, that's a great one to try. And then finally, um, light medium BFF. So a lot of you are onto BFF <laughs> for Trini London. Um, it's SPF 30. It's a 37 pounds. Now, um, I can't see the UVA or UVB on here, but I know that Trini used to talk about three pumps to get that SPF. So she's obviously very aware of needing to put enough on to really get the SPF that you're looking for. Personally, I put an SPF underneath. Three pumps of that, the way that the pump dispenser works, is actually a lot of product. Yeah. And if you do do it, I just suggest you put it on and then just put a little more over the top so it just doesn't get too sticky. Yeah. Um, to really give you that overall protection. But um, yeah, it's um, this one is really interesting because it's like a skin perfecter. So if you just wanted to dash out the house and get your skin looking the best it can look, then this is completely brilliant for that. It's my go-to. You know, I think when I've worked with a company and I helped Trini um, with the retail strategy, um, it's my absolute go-to because you know, just really quick and you don't actually have to apply makeup on top. You can see where I put the Laura Mercier on, not in the best way because I'm too hot, but it's evened out my skin tone, but I look a bit ghostly. So I need to add stuff. Really, when you put this on, it just looks like fresh, healthy, glowing skin. So you've got choices. And so we had a question from, we had a question from Debbie. So she's yeah. wearing the BFF, so it comes to the point. She's saying, is that going to be enough? Does she put SPF as well? on that see personally i would personally i'd put some spf underneath personally yeah. i would um but it is you know if you put enough of it then you've got an spf 30 on and you know i know we don't always want to wear a hat but where you can wear a hat if you're really out in the sun for a long time then i'll say yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, today, it, the sun has just been so hot at lunchtime. We went out, like, whoa, it's really, you can really feel it on your forehead. It's strong. Yeah. Okay, so we've got, so that's our coverage. So that's the coverage. I hope that answers your question for you, Debbie. Do we have one more? You carry on. I'm just going to see if there's any more questions on the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about concealer and especially about under the eyes. So I mentioned Arborean. They have a brilliant under the eye, um, almost like a primer to even out skin tone, as do Becca. Aha, there it is. So Becca, I utterly adore this product because you can get concealers, but they're, they're just too light. I don't think sometimes they do anything. Some concealers are like a ray of light. So if you've got great skin under your eyes, lucky you, <laughs> you can use something like Exalion Future Claire just to add light. Um, it's not a concealer, it just adds a glow of light. Um, or um, actually the Trini London um, concealer is also really lovely for adding light and matching to your skin tone. <laughs> need a, a bit more under my eyes yeah. and I'm darker than something like this from Becca and again Becca also have a primer for it and I don't know can you see there it's a cream and it's hard it's you know it's it's not just a load of slip um and I would put that you can see it goes on quite wow quite that much that's quite interesting and you've got a bit of slide in a minute you oh. should see what I'm going to do in a minute <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have another drink, actually. <laughs> so you can see, I'm, I, I press that in. You're pressing it in? Pressing it in, yeah. So it's a press, and also into the side of the nose, which is where a shadow starts. So it's called ultimate coverage, and I do think, can you see the difference? Oh, that's quite pretty, good. Pretty cool, isn't it's it? quite good, yeah, it is. Now, if you want to go crazy. One thing, well, I was going to say, one thing I have learned from you, it's all about the shading and the contouring. To get that natural, barely there look, yeah. it's almost actually you've got to put more on in, to create the, the, the shade and the contour that yeah. makes it look really natural. Wow, you are, that's a lot. How much How much of that stuff do you go through a week this, then? Um, actually, it lasts forever. I swear I've had this about a year it's tart it's in the states you can hardly find it here it's on qvc i think it's still on their website you can go straight to their own website 23 pounds i mean this isn't new news in the beauty industry at all and it's called shape tape so you can understand it immediately <laughs> it goes it'll tighten the skin under your eyes and really smooth that out um, and you do put a lot if you look at any of the tutorials they put so much more um, even than this and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the buffer on that just to show you and just press. And you kept this product very very quiet. This is the first I've heard about this product from you. Well, my Becca one is the one I would absolutely like. Be if you only buy one, I would buy the Becca one. But look. Okay. Woo. Oh yeah, no, that is good. Good, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think you know I think it's worth it under your eyes particularly. If I bring that in. Push that in, and then just getting the best complexion really for you and the best skin tone, and even out that skin tone. So, those That's two cool. are really fabulous. And the other one, we've got a little slide on it so that you can see is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Creamy Concealer. Again, by the same people as we talked about for the CC, they know their skin, developed with plastic surgeons. I just love it. It's Bye Bye Under Eye. Great marketing because you immediately think, yeah, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really nice. It's creamier in its liquid. This is an old one that I've got. Um, yeah, but you can see, um, yeah, yeah. it's a little bit of a cream on your finger, and you can either tap that in with your finger or you can tap that in with a, a beauty blender. Okay, so if I you, it, yeah, you look really natural. So, so the next got, thing, oh, got, yeah. okay, what we're doing now. Hopefully, guys, this is telling you what you need to know. Um, and so what we're going to go on now is bronze. So you were talking a little bit about that. Um, and how do I contour was one of the questions that you were asking. And a couple of different ways, I think, you know, um, 
you could go the route of the film star. Um, and oh, that went right way up. Um, and this is this is really your glamorous. You know, it is old screen legends glamour who knew the power of light and shade and how to throw light on your face from the camera. And that's really how she developed this from. Um, and it is the power of light and shade. So when we talk about sculpting, and it's just beautiful the way that you can open it up. So this is really, it's the secret that the silver screen sirens have kept to themselves for years. So, you know, there is a lot of packaging, which is, you know, something that everybody is worried about today, but it's just such a treat. And you've got the beautiful Art Deco rays, the seam stocking, and then it does come in two different colors. You can kind of see there and a beautiful mirror. So, you know, if you just wanted to talk about your handbag, your handbag, that's the one. Nice to get That's out, fun. nice to show. And it's got a beautiful mirror in there. It's got your bronze and glow. And it just adds spark to your face. Um, and I am actually going to use that one in a minute. So when you apply your bronze, I'm going to do it a little bit in the mirror. So I've got a little sculpted brush here. And maybe not everybody, uh, makeup artists would use that. But I don't, can you see where it tails off at the end? Yeah, I can so see that. It's like shaped. So it's a bit of... On, obviously on the bronzing, I'm bronzing under and upwards here. And if I want to take that around my face, we, we talk about the three. So you're doing, can you see there, into this yeah. socket and then out again. So we're bronzing there and we're adding a little bit of colour. And you know what's really nice about this? Right? Charlotte will always talk about follow the hollow. There you go. There's your hollows. Um, and you can... Um, you can use it as a bronzer, but you can also use it as a as a as a light um, uh, contour if you wanted to. So around the hairline, just adds colour where the sun would touch, and then under the chin, it just frames it so you're not stark just here. So it's a three shape into there and then down, and you can brush it gently across. You can use it if you prefer a big bronzer, you can do it around the hairline and around the chin line. Okay. The funniest thing, because I That's... don't know if you guys notice, but I keep not knowing where to put things, is because it's all in reverse on here, so it's really weird on camera. But you can see a little bit of, because otherwise, you know, so if you were to use um, the BFF by itself, then you will have just a nice, healthy, all-round grow. If you want a little bit more coverage, then you need to have a little bit of colour and shape, otherwise you look really ghostly. Yeah? Now... The other thing on contour, so I'm using a stick. There's lots of these. So we get a bit scared about contour. you have a contour, Jo? I, d I do like a bit of contour. Yeah. How? It's like stacking up your cheeks. So I'm just adding a little bit more now. I'm probably really terrifying people. Please tell me if you're terrified right now. <laughs> um, if you might do this already. Um, so I'm going to take a bigger brush to buff that in. Or you can just use your fingers, you know. So... I'm just going to swish that in on both sides. I hope Ibby's watching this. She's probably saying, no, well, you're not doing it right. So it's quite interesting. So you're so you've actually used uh, the stick, which is the cream. And interesting. So Angelique has just said that um, she really likes, I think it's Sonia or Sophia, um, which is part of the Trini product. Uh, Soala, but you'll know that. Such a fantastic yeah. bronzer. And I, you, you again introduced me to the Trini, and I do like the cream products. I think when your skin is a little bit more mature, you know, it just glides over the surface of the skin. And I think that's actually what you're saying. That, that's what it is. There you go, Angelique. You this see? one's Genster. Lots of people love Soala because Genster gives you a very, very mild and a very, just like a really, just a touch, touch, touch of colour. And what these are nice is because they're a gel almost like a film. Um, so you can see it's quite wet, um, but it really is very malleable. So putting that over your BFF, either all over or just, you know, as I've just shown you and working that in with the fingers or a brush, you know, you can use it either way, but the range has been designed with fingers um, in mind, yeah. just really just for ease for those people that are scared of brushes. And the other one I came across, which I quite liked and we'll talk about is, um, nude stick so this is a brand so this is an all over face matte so if you think that's all very well but Charlotte Tilbury has a little bit of shimmer and glitter in it I don't want to look shiny um, and um, 
you know, a cream, it's going to be, be too wet. This is a matte stick from Nude Stick. So if you feel you really want to go matte, you could use that all over. It's multitasking. You could use it to contour. You could use it to bronze. You can use it as a sweep across the eyes. You can even use it. Uh, our dogs are going to start talking to each other. They are, they are. Okay, Ruby's Barney's like just, here in Barney. Barney's, <laughs> Barney's just followed a squirrel. So. What I love about this, for handbags on the go, and especially if we're going to be walking long distances to work, it's got a little brush in the end as well. So it's a great little stick. Okay. So, yeah, we've got some options really on bronze. And the last little palette, actually, I just wanted to show you, from, again, it's from Charlotte Tilbury. Sorry, Dan, this isn't on the notes. But this is you know, you know, her instant look in a palette. And then you've got a bronzer, you've got a highlighter, you've got a blush, you've got the powders and you've got the eyeshadows and it tells you what to do. So if you're looking for an all-in-one kit and you don't mind powder, then that is actually a really good buy and you just take that everywhere. Okay, I'm not getting too much. You gave, you gave that to me as a birthday present once and that was brilliant. And then I dropped it on the floor and actually being powder, it all broke. But I did get a men's wear out of it. That's a really good one. It is a really good one. You do tend to use that up. But yeah, that is the problem with powders. That really is. Um, and so, um, so yes, that's our kind of bronze glow. Now, what I haven't put on there is a little bit of highlighter, actually. And many people are a little bit scared of highlighter. Um, Tree does have a really nice one called Sunlight. Um, but highlighter, if I use the Charlotte one, tips of the cheekbones, really high. And fills it up so tips of the cheekbones. And then down the center of the nose. Can you see the little bit of glow that's kind of yeah, I've got it. yeah. So I love highlighters, but not too much. And the one I've shown you that because it's in the palette. I think it's actually nicer sometimes to have a liquid one. I use the Hollywood highlighter. I love this one because it's wet and it looks even more natural. Just a tiny tap. Onto the tips of the sheet, you can put it on the brow bone, down the center of the so nose, just here the and there on the arch of the brow bone, yeah. on the tips of the cheeks, down the there. center of the nose. Definitely. Oh, there, okay, that's there. really slim. In it, you know, if you were doing an artist and you were drawing a portrait, um, and you were looking at where you put the light and a charcoal drawing, and you always look, think you see light down the center. Of the nose. Okay. Okay. So it's a really lovely bone structure definition, feature enhancing, add radiance and glow, and also shape. I'm just going to um, keep this one with me now because you're being a bit cheeky. <laughs> okay. So, so, so where will we go from here, lovely? So we are now talking about stick or stack. Stick or stack. Mm, so some of your Trini fan, fans, rather, so you know about the stack. Um, and this is where I'm just going to add a little bit more colour. So Trini's stack, um, lost the top of this one, but um, really great because it just clicks. Um, oops, that one. So they just click into shape. Um, They're so travel friendly. I really love them. They are travel. I have had some problems with the lids on some of them, but I know that mine are quite old and they've, they've done a lot of work on that. Um, but the stacks, multitasking products, malleable, buildable, are fantastic. So, so for me, fun. being out with Walk Active, that's that would be my go-to easy transportable thing. Yeah. Oh, oh you're going to tell me something else. Stick okay. Or stack. Ah. <laughs> because nude sticks do these little kits as well, which are great. So difference between the two on a nude stick, um, and I love it because again, comes with a big mirror. Oops. Has a big mirror. Comes with the sticks. I really like this one, actually. So lip, this is a lip and cheek. They've also got eyes as well and a really nice little desert sun. Um, that's an eye colour that you can put just on the on the base of the eye. I'll just put a little bit of that. Oh, that's clever. I haven't come across that before. That's clever. I like, I like that. The thing with the pencil, sometimes the pencil is slightly easier to put on. So, um, but you have to, it's not... As malleable for so long so you have to put it on pretty quickly afterwards so I've just put that on which is bare and then I have to obviously contour on top of that but what I really really liked um, was their lips because sometimes keep putting your finger in a pot on your lip not everybody loves that so the stick was nice um, really easy 
-mm. to apply naturally. Mm -hmm. So, personally, I love a liner, and I think if you're going to do bare, you know, just to do a liner, sometimes with just a little bit of lip balm is really, really nice. But just the fact that it's so easy. But I have to say, one of my loves, I'm just going to do the other eye very quickly because I'm going to do you. Um, but one of my loves is the Trini eyeshadows as well. Um, really, they come in colours that they may, don't always look so great in the pot, but they're amazing on the eye, really cleverly put together. This one is one of my favourites. It might scare people a bit, but it's called Desire. And there's a quick touch up on the eye. It's like a brownie purple. It's got a kind of sheen. And I would put that, I'm putting that over the pencil. You can just put that onto, onto the brush. Or a little bit of concealer underneath. And we're just, oh, wow, that looks great. You would never imagine it would come out that colour. Yeah, well, it's on, a, it's on a pale base at the moment, so it's a little bit lighter than it would be otherwise. But, you know, you just can't make a mistake with something like this because if it's not right, you just buff it down and start again. It's easy. So takes the fear as well as too much time out. You've done that quite terribly. Just going to swish over. So I'd have to keep looking in the mirror, but swishing over. So just a little bit more definition there. Okay. I like that. You see, the, the mat that you're wearing now, I would wear that when I would go out of an evening. Yeah. It looks very natural on you because of your colourings. So look, that looks lovely. Yeah, exactly. So I pick up that as a, I pick up desire and say I'm going to use that as my base and people go, Ooh. <laughs> but actually on me, it's quite a, a muted tone, but you can mm. build on it. And if you do want to add depth, either pat it with your fingers or add depth with a brush. So I think, you know, that option of sticks or stacks, they just have two different purposes. And sometimes it's nice to have a mix of both. You yeah. have more control with a pencil. You know, it's quicker dry down time. They really last. They really stay in place. They're sweat resistant. They've done all kinds of testing on it. It's a vegan brand. So Nude Sticks. And you'll find it on their own site at nudesticks.com or also on Cult Beauty. And then Trini London, really online. You'll only find it on their own site on trinilondon.com. Um, but yeah. these are lighter, sheerer. So, so I like that's quite natural. Yeah, I'm more of a stack girl than I a stick girl at this stack moment in time. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's nice to have choices. It's nice to have choices. It is. It, it is. is. So I think, yeah, lots there, really. Lots of options. And that was just so, a very, very quick one. While you're finishing off, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to give you three different bag scenarios. For me, out and about doing my walk active, okay? So this would be, um, or this is my go-to bum bag when I'm actually going to go out and do one of my walk active workouts. So what one I love about it, can you see that? Yeah. So this would be, um, it would have had a walk active workout. So I'd put my water bottle in there. I can put a layer through there and I can put my phone in here. Probably just got a space for one well, I'm only going for one, I'm doing a walk active workout, so it'd be about an hour maximum. So one product, what would be the one product that you would put in there? Um, the one product, I'd probably go for the Helio Care, actually, just because yeah. you're gonna top up your, to, keep topping up your sun cream. If you're going out, yeah. you're going on a long walk, and that will give you a little bit of color, tintiest bit of coverage, but you'll top up on your SPF. I hate okay, having that only one. I hate having only right. one more. Here's my next one. Here's my next one. This is this is me out for the day. I'm running a workshop for the day, or I'm actually working with clients and I go into meetings. So I've got my iPad in there. I've got my small laptop. I've got a diary. Probably got maybe two meetings, but I'm going to be out for the day. So so two two products. So let's say we've got three. We have two products in there. I've got space for two products. What are we going to be? You can't just have two. Go have three. Sorry, that's just silly. <laughs> All right, then. Well, we'll do you tidy, Josephine, because we'll take one of them as a skincare product. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'd obviously take your sun cream. If you're going to be out all day, you can't really be yeah. your sun cream. You could do something like if you wanted to have that kind of skincare sun care, you could do like the Glossier one, which has got even you know more of a tint. 
and more of a makeup or obviously you know that's going to be what we know is going to be really strong and protect you um but i would take a little bit of top up of under eye because we just get tired in the day especially if you're working that's at the workshop yeah. hydration dark shadows it just gives you that little bit of a boost but then i absolutely adore um the lip and cheek which isn't this one actually it is uh, yeah, here we go. Come back to me. I want to have a picture of everything that you've got in front of you there. Honestly, I am going to take a picture and see because it's. Um, I started off knowing, you know. So this is Lady J. Um, that will probably be a little bit pale for you, but good for me to add a little touch of colour um, and just buff into the cheeks. But it's also great on the lips. Um, and also, good thing you know, multitask, isn't it? So you can start it as well. Yeah. yeah. If you took something like actually, Chloe would be really nice on you. Named after lovely Chloe, who works with Trini. Um, so you can see it's brownie, but it's because it's cream. It's quite sheer, so it's very forgiving, great on the cheeks, on the lip, and also, of course, a wash on the eyes. Really nice. It's like a chestnut-y reddy colour. Oh, OK. And not, All right, and the last situation. Of, we're not officially on the eye, but I do it. <laughs> this is me walking to work, OK? So yeah. I've got my laptop in here. I've got my things. I'm going to my meetings. Might be going afterwards. Da da da. Got my trainers on. Can't see the full screen, but this is it. So what am I going to have in here that's going to take me? So if I'm walking to work, um, walking all day, and then I'm going out in the evening, what can I take in here? I don't want it to be too heavy. That's the whole thing. No, but that's where I mean to be honest, where the stacks come in great or the sticks, dependent on your preference. So I'd either say, there you go, take that, <laughs> you know, so that you can touch up and then take um, something, you know, one of the skincare ones. So take, you know, your um, uh, concealer um, yep. and then you'd be done. You'd have everything you need. Or you could say, you know what, I know I'm going to need a little bit of refresh of cover. So you could say, I'm going to take my BFF. Yep. Um, I'm going to take my concealer to just, or just to touch foundation just to give me that extra concealer coverage where I need it. I don't need that all over, so I'm going to have a healthy radiant glow. I love that, a naked, more naked look. So those two. And then I would get my um, blusher and lip in one, and then a little bit of gloss. So I'd have a three stack. Where's my eye? Anyway, pretend that's the eye. So I'd have a three stack, which would be an eye, a lip and cheek, and maybe a little bit of gloss. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. So those. Okay, job done. All right, my darling. Well, thank Any you so questions? much. I've got my little items. Sorry, say that again. Any other questions coming through? We haven't missed anybody. Um, Karen says she really likes Sasha. Uh, Jean, thank you very much. Yeah, I've got Sasha. Color. Sasha's a really, really lovely colour. It gives you um, it gives you a complexion to life. Really great Sasha. info. Marita saying thank you so much. Angelique said thank you so much. Uh, Jenster, she likes Jenster as well. Yeah, no, that's great. I think we've covered just about everybody. And I think also there were lots of questions, obviously, about the rosacea, which was lovely. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We, as always, just two friends having a little matter about things that um, really from questions that have come over the years of me teaching Walk Active and from listening to what you want. So that's really, really what we want to achieve within our Beauty Gets Active live chats. So next week, we are actually going to be talking about Beauty Gets Active, and it's going to be about the whole sort of wellness of skincare and what's article easy go-to pampering self-care treatment. Yeah. Well, well, we might do a lot. little bit of masking, masking on the hair. There's so many different masks you can get, masks under the eye, you can get masks for the decollete, you can get masks for the hair. If you're going to have a little bit of pampering for your body, for your face, you know, for your hair, what kind of things could you use? Let us know if that's what you want. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming from me, Joanna Hall, and from Beauty Bad <laughs> London. If you want to have a look at anything more, um, you know, any more information, see us there. All right. Take care, everybody. And we'll catch you next time. And if you do want to take advantage of the extra discount on the Helio Care, go to the Helio Care website and there is a special discount code, which you'll see on your screens coming up very shortly down below. All right. In the meantime, care, people, enjoy your walk out to get out and look after your skin and take good care from us. Bye bye.
too long. Thanks.